Well, first of all, let me explain what we've seen over the last few weekends. We've seen now tens of thousands of people take to the streets following the massacre of Jewish people, the single largest loss of Jewish life since the Holocaust, chanting for the erasure of Israel from the map. To my mind, there's only one way to describe those marches. They are hate marches. Now, secondly, the police and the, crime, uh, the, the Crown Prosecution Service are operationally independent. So it's not for me to provide a running commentary on the specific legal decisions that they are making in real time on the ground. But what the police have made clear is that they are concerned that there's a large number of bad actors who are deliberately operating beneath the criminal threshold in a way which you or I, or the vast majority of British people, would consider to be utterly odious. Now, we keep our laws under review, and if there is a need to change the law, just as we did in relation to Just Stop Oil protests last year, I will not hesitate to act. I have made my views clear. These are hate marches, and the police must take a zero-tolerance approach to anti-Semitism.